And I'm going to start by removing some of the graphite. You don't want to remove everything because otherwise you won't see where you're going. But some of these harder, stronger lines can come out. That's about right, I think. Let's take that away. You can see the difference between the two ears now. And straight away we go in with the white. Now, whenever you start off a project, you'll always be a bit tentative, and that's a good thing. Now, these little lines here, that's where we're going to be putting the white over the top. Um, and it comes down to there. And down to there. Now that could be fairly substantial, that white that you're putting on, so it's worth putting a bit of pressure on there. As we might be putting other colours on, a little bit of pink later on, but really it needs to be nice and white like that. And the other thing is, we've got a lot of white now. Let's start off here, show you how this is going to work. As I said, it's a very fluffy pussy, this one. Let, just take a little bit more of that off. You'll judge this yourself as how much you take off, because you've got to keep the uh, edges, otherwise you'll end up straying. And also, another thing I shall tell you straight away, and I shall repeat it a few times, you work in the direction that you see the fur lying in. Now we come away from this eye there, we won't come any further than that. And this hair swings around like this. Now this is how I'm holding the pencil, you see folks, like that. Not like that. I did when I went when I went round there because I wanted to be precise, but here we want to be a bit freer. Now there, there's a lot of grey there, so what I'll do there is minimise the amount of white I put on. And in a minute, I should be putting the grey on there. Now, you see, straight away, I've seen that I've overshot that slightly. Eh? So give me an opportunity to show you another useful little tip there. You can use the, the double-ended razor for that. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier. The, it swings over there. But there's some more white in this particular cat that comes over like that. Now, I'm deliberately going over the top of this, but I'm going to be putting a background there, so that will almost certainly be rubbed into that background when we come to do it. Now, I'm taking my time because I'm, I'm selecting where I want to put this white. You can put it back on again, so if, you, if I cover it up, which I'm almost certain to do that, I can put it back again. Now, this is what I want to do. It's a lovely design, this cat. Now, the other area here, this is also going to have to have some base colour. So, we put a white on again, but this time, like I did here, with not quite so much strength. And same in there. So, it, in other words, we've still got the white on there, but it's not as concentrated. Okay, now I think that is as far as I want to go at the moment. Okay, next colour. Now this will be grey. Now this is uh, 273 grey. Now you've got to be, what we want to do here is, is put it on, but we don't want to put it in on too strong. Alright, so just go up to the line there. Again, working in the direction of the fur. And we can follow that all the way through like this. And just there, now just there, so again, we've got a, another area where we've got grey. And then it comes into the white that I just put in. Like that. This is a little bit more detailed here. Now, once again, we put the grey in on top of the white, and we're quite careful. Now, there's a, quite a lot of artistic license when you come into 
this kind of thing. So although I am following reference material, I'm still using my own ideas. Now this would make a lot more sense in a minute because I'm going to add another very pretty colour to that. Okay, so that's all we want at the moment. Now the next colour is going to be a pink and this is 131 and here I want to put the pink on top of the grey on top of that very light white I put in. Now bear in mind these are base colours I'm doing here. They're not we're going to put more strength on in a little while. Lovely. And now for the first time, I'm going to show, show you how to use this. We can still use it in the same way as we were using the pencil. In other words, still following the direction that we see the fur lying in. But the difference is, you see, I'm rubbing it into the paper. And you come over here. All over, all over the white. I did tell you I was going to put more white on. Well, I shall do in a little while. And that's the first. That's all the base colours in. Right. And now we've got to start thinking a little bit stronger. So let's put a little bit of grey here to start with. We do this top bit, and then what I can do is I can work my way through the air here showing you little bits of bits of it saves doing showing boring you in other words I don't want to bore you doing the same old thing but that's now going to be a lot stronger and I'm going to put another colour in that in a minute now into the pink the grey and the pink work really well together so now you've got a really dark colour there right and again, it's always worth just coming back in with colour shaper. Sometimes I leave the dust on, you'll notice, and other times I blow it away. Now, when I blow it away, it means it's obscuring some of the detail. That looks good. Now, what you can do now is we can use the colour that we've picked up on here just to weaken that just a little bit on the outside edge. In other words, it's not pure white, like that, okay? Okay, now that's good. Now I want to put a little bit more of that pink on that I was using just now, 131, and make it a little darker because now we're going to be a very dramatic. It comes down there, like that. Now our next colour is going to be 175. So um, I haven't, yes I have, I didn't think I got it out, but I have. Now you've got to be light with this because it's a very strong colour. So start off by just whispering it in there and up round the corner, back down the other side. Now I did say the grey and the pink work well together, well so does this one because this is a very dark sepia. That's the description. And we want to start putting this in here, but the, I want to also put some white back in here too. And let's run around the corner there. Could do with this being a bit sharper. I'll sharpen up when I carry on the rest of it. Dark on that edge. Once again, use the colour shaper just to build that edge. I'm using the tip there and then bring it flat into that. Down that edge again, again just using the corner. Like that. Now that's the colour that I'm looking for. Grey. Now 
Right, now the next thing I'm going to do is bring the white back, but I've got to sharpen it up. So bear with me, I'm just going to sharpen that, and then I'm going to put some more white in there. And take this opportunity of showing you how I sharpen the pencils. This is a standing knife. Get your finger, up to your finger or your thumb at the top there, and you slice it like that. Turn the pencil as you go around. And I like nice long points. Now that's the standing right now. Let me show you now the, the razor blade and say this is my preferred tool. But it works just as well uh, as the standard knife. Again, you can cut right through. And what I want to do is to get quite a good point on this because that cuts into the colour that I've just put on. Now, anyway, I'll just hone it, twist the pencil around, and you get a nice even point. Here we are. Done. Now, with my lovely sharp white, I'm going to put in. Now, this is these are fine hairs in here, and they're not going to show up that much. Twist the pencil as you do it. Come away. Like that. And when I do these later on, you'll see a big difference. Here we are. Now, I've also taken the branches while I was away just to sharpen the 175. Remember, I wanted it to be a nice sharp line on here, so we can just bring that down again, right on that edge. Having already got a nice dark pinky grey in there. It's worked out well. There we are. That's good. Okie doke. Now, it may be that I want a little bit of white. What I'm going to do is put a darker background on here so these white ears, although they don't stand away at the moment, by golly they will when I put the background on, as you will see. So I'm going to put the white back on. Give me a nice sharp ear. Now I'm going to carry on with the colours I've just been using. There's the white, the dark sepia, 175, 273, grey and 131 pink. And I'm going to do the whole of that area and I'm going to do little snippets. So you'll see it all done. And the final thing will be when I put the, hair, the, the strong hairs over here. So watch out for that at the end. But all of this will be done using those four pencils. <laughs> 